Welcome to my channel. For those of you who are new here, this is the Mixed Edition. Um, it's called the Mixed Edition because I like to mix it up. I love everything from luxury to fashion to beauty to lifestyle products. And I like to showcase them here, feature them here, unbox and review them. So if that sounds of interest to you, be sure to hit the subscribe button so we could become friends and share in this product obsession uh, together. So guys, so today I have an unboxing for you. Uh, this is from one of my favorite contemporary designer brands. Um, I was looking for an everyday bag and I started going on a hunt for a new bag. Not that I need an excuse <laughs> to go on a hunt for a new bag, but you know, a year ago we were on lockdown, right? The pandemic, COVID, everything has changed the items that I'm taking out of the house on a daily. So a year ago, you couldn't even go anywhere. So you didn't even need anything. Your keys, lip gloss, card holder, just to go get some groceries, get some gas and come back in the house. Um, so now that the pandemic is, um, I don't know, we're figuring out how to get through the pandemic and more and more places are starting to open back up. I'm carrying more and more stuff out of the house with me. So I'm like, oh my goodness, none of my bags are really working for me right now. And I'm like, that's why, because we're starting to open the world back up and I'm carrying more stuff. So none of these bags right now that I currently have are working for me. I could have found one that worked for me, but still I wanted to get a new one, a new everyday bag. So my first you know right away i went to louis vuitton website just to kind of see what they had out there um obviously louis vuitton well you guys may or may not know but louis vuitton is my favorite fashion house um so i started there first and i was looking at a speedy and i don't currently have one in my collection i know you guys are like how is that your favorite a fashion house you don't even have a speedy <laughs> I'm gonna get one, I promise. But, you know, um, I was like, uh, you know, the Speedy is just too big. I'm not carrying that much out the house just yet. It's like, let me, you know, see what other sizes, whatever things that I wanted to get. I couldn't find anything on their website that I was like, oh, okay, this will suit me for right now. And speaking of that, since we are still changing and trying to get back into some type of normalcy um, post pandemic, you know, this bag is really only suited for right now, what I'm carrying right now. So I didn't want to make that heavy investment into a, Louis, into a Louis Vuitton or Chanel piece just yet. Maybe fall or winter time, I can revisit that. But I was like, let me look at the vanity case. I was like, before I just jump out of Louis Vuitton, let me look at the vanity case. And I was like, okay, I was like this close from getting the vanity case uh, from Louis Vuitton. But I was looking at the dimensions. I was like, man, it's like really big. I was like, uh, I'm like, it's, you know, a real actual vanity case, <laughs> duh. But I was going to try to use it as a bag and which most people do. But I was like, no, it's just too big for a bag right now. So I was like, I love the vanity case style. Let me look at some other brands. So I was like, oh, let me look at some contemporary brands because they be having some good stuff, good quality stuff. So let me check them out. So I went over to MCM and I've always loved the Rockstar Vanity. And I was like, oh my gosh, yes, I remember. Let me try to look up some videos on YouTube real quick, which you guys are probably doing right now. That's probably how you got to my channel. <laughs> Cause you want to do some research on this bag as well but i got you sis um so i was like okay i saw a couple influencers a couple um different videos on the bag and i was like mm, okay that might work for me for right now so here we go and i will have a link to um this product in the description yes 
guys. So right away, comes in the little dust bag. And I love just packaging with all the brand stuff on it. See, you see MCM inside of the box. Oh, got a little thank you card. Let me move this out the way. Got a little thank you card, a little thank you note. Not really, just my receipt. So the current resale value of the Rockstar Vanity Case is $575. So anywho, that's just a little thank you envelope with my receipt in it. I'll put that in the box, I'll put that over here. Here is the dust bag. The MCM logo on it. Yes. I always genuinely get so happy when I'm doing unboxings. Yes. Oh my goodness. So cute already. So cute already. Let me throw that off to the side. I mean, I meant to throw it, but not throw it, okay? <laughs> So here it is, love. This is the Rockstar vanity case. It only comes in this size, um, which is definitely smaller than the ones they have on Louis Vuitton. So if you're looking for something a little bit smaller, you know, this might be a good alternative for you. So guys, this is the monogram canvas uh, in Vestos. This is MCM's uh, logo canvas um, print which I love by the way. I do have another bag in this exact print from MCM as well. Um, this comes with a strap, which I'm going to take that off. Yeah, so the strap comes so you can wear this bag crossbody or on the shoulder. And you guys know, if you watch my other unboxing videos or any of my other videos, you guys know that it has to be versatile. If we are spending our money, please let it be on something that we can wear multiple different ways. Okay. And guys, this strap is removable. That goes into the versatility of it. So you can take that strap all the way off. And as a matter of fact, I'm gonna take the paper off too. Okay. So yes, taking the strap out, and the strap is adjustable by the way. It has, let's see, one, two, three, four, five um, different adjustable adjusting points so I'm really short so I always put mines on the tightest adjustable point and I'll put that over to the side I'm gonna put that back on a little bit later we're gonna get into the in we're gonna get into the inside of the bag so this is the front it has the 24 karat um, gold plated hardware on it so it has it up here where you have the um, pieces where you can attach the strap onto. You have the, of course, the gold plated here with the logo on it. And um, throughout, throughout the zipper of the vanity. It has the double zip. guys I just have my phone here because I don't want to miss any details on the bag so as soon as you open it um, let's take out the stuffing and you have the little dry packs on the inside So 
So here's what it looks like on the inside, guys. The interior is, um, I think it's cotton twill lining. Let me read this because I don't want to say it wrong. Yes, it's cotton twill lining on the inside. It has an interior side pocket. I think they meant to put back pocket. Oh, okay. They have two pockets on the inside. Leather top handle and, of course, the removable leather strap. Um, it could be worn on the shoulder or in the hand. And it reveals a compact slip pocket for your essentials. It's practical design. Makes it perfect for lightweight travel companion. So that's the details from the website. But we're going to give you the real right now. So yes, the material is beautiful. I may have to, this seems like you could just take like a microfiber cloth if you ever got anything on it and just wipe it down. But I think I'm going to treat it with some um, upholstery, some upholstery spray so I can just protect the bag immediately because I don't plan to put an organizer or anything in here. So basically all of my products are just going right in here. So I do want to protect it somehow. So I'll probably put some upholstery kind of spray on it just lightly on the inside. So therefore, if something does waste or spill, I can just easily wipe it down with like a microfiber cloth. But yes, yeah, so on the inside, it has a nice little stretchy pocket in the back. And this right here is just probably the authenticity card. Yes. Mm -hmm. No, they don't have authenticity cards. This is the warranty card in the care instructions little booklet. Put that to the side. But as you can see, this pocket is not that deep, so it might just hold my like my little lip gloss or my card holder. And actually, let me get closer to the camera. So there's the pocket. So there's the pocket in the back. It almost lines the width of the vanity case. Um, it's not that deep, so it might just hold like some lip gloss so it doesn't roll around the bag. And I don't know how I'm gonna show you guys this, but there is another pocket on the inside. It's like for like a card. Maybe like if you have like the Louis Vuitton card holder, this might fit, but I doubt it. So I don't know, maybe it might just be for, you know, you to put your individual card in. So yeah, that's a closer look at the material. It's beautiful, guys. And then it has um, these little straps on the inside so that when you're opening your case, it doesn't go all the way back. It doesn't go all the way back. These little straps, they catch it and hold it. You can, um, you can unloosen these so that your strap can go all the way back. You just loosen, loosen them from the thing. And now um, when you open your vanity case, it has a little bit more room to open. But I don't think I'm going to have mines like that. So I'm just gonna put them back how they were. Oh my gosh, guys, this is so cute. And that's pretty much it, guys. It doesn't have feet on it, which um, I'm not too happy about that. <laughs> I wish it did have feet on it, but it's pretty structured enough. 
I just don't like when I sit my stuff down and it's not really protecting the canvas or whatever the uh, material is on the item. So I like to have feet, but that's pretty much the only little gripe that I have about the bag so far. Um, let's get into how it looks on me. Mm -hmm. 